Yeah, my hair's about that bad. Anyway, so two things today. One, the house we really like. The owner has stated that it has failed a VA inspection in the past. This is the thing. You're told when you sign up that you get this guaranteed housing loan. Okay? Guaranteed loan. GI Bill, blah, blah, blah. It's not guaranteed. For one thing, you have to have a credit score in excess of 620. That's not guaranteed if you have to have a credit score. For another thing, the inspection for uh, a VA loan is stricter than the inspection for a standard loan. So if you're going through, if you're going through Chase Manhattan or or Wells Fargo, the VA loan inspection right now is stricter. The house we're looking at failed because one back window took a rock when they were using a weed eater and cracked. It has a ding and a crack. That's what they failed it on. And the VA said the window has to be completely swapped out. Brand new, energy efficient window. Has to be completely swapped out before the VA will authorize a loan on that property. Talk about bureaucratic bullshit. So, we're going to be looking at a few properties on our own tomorrow and meeting with the real estate agent on Friday and seeing where to go from there. That's that. It's not a guaranteed loan. It's a jump through every fucking hoop for three to six months. We've been working on this since October. Okay? Until finally they deign to approve loan. My face itches really bad. I have facial hives. My eyes itch. Yeah. Anyway. So, we have like nine houses on our short list. The real estate agent is, we had about 12 yesterday, but three of them pinged back as, yeah, they know that they're still listed, but they actually have offers. These are people who have to put their house up for sale before they sell it to their son or their cousin or whatever, you know? So yeah, we're still going through. Technically we have to be out of here by the 15th. We can go month to month here. If we do, we lose the move out money. I'm reasonably certain the husband has already decided that if we have to, we will go month to month here simply because he's not packing. But then again, he always waits till the last minute and panics. So, we'll see what happens. Will we be moved out by April 15th or not? That's the thing right now. Anyway, I triggered my pancreatitis. I have several suspects on my list of things that may have done it. Not gonna name the Hello Kitty cookies. No, no, it couldn't possibly be them. I've been having problems for about a week and a half now, and it just last night got really bad, really painful, and so tonight I'm eating the same thing I ate yesterday because it's leftovers, and it was yummy, and then I'll start modifying my diet for pancreatitis. My pancreatitis triggers more on starches than it triggers on fats. Most pancreatitis triggers on fats, which is why it took so long for a doctor to figure out that that might be it. But anytime I get too much starches, um, yeah, I love mochi. Mochi's pure starch. Pure starch. It's sad. Anyway, reasonably certain that I'm triggering on the recent food choices that I knew better on. Tomorrow, we'll start over again. Start eating right for a while. It's really, really hard when you have a rheumatologist telling you go ahead and eat gluten because it'll help your arthritis pain, but then I've got to deal with the gut pain. You know? It's really hard. Talked long distance with a specialist. 
somebody who's familiar with me and said, how do you know if it's Sellers Danlos or if it's multiple sclerosis? And he says, oh, if you have those two as a choice, then you know that the multiple sclerosis is mimicking Ehlers Danlos. It's like, yeah, fuck you. That's just going to be my standard response every time. Every time. Anyway, can you see how swollen my face is today? I can see how swollen my face is today. It should look. Me. 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 Back in long time ago, we used to super glue little bits of cloth right here and here and here and then bring it back with a string and super glue it back here for instant facelifts. Back for that 1980s gaunt look. Do you remember the 1980s gaunt look? I can't even fake the gaunt look anymore. Yeah. I want my own kitchen. That's what it comes down to. I want my own kitchen and control of my food and yeah. If we get the house we really like, because we're going to go look at it with the real estate agent and she's going to see if there's a way to make it pass inspection, if that's what caused it to fail. If the window is the only reason. it It's completely possible there's another reason, but that's the reason that the owner listed. If she can figure out a way to get it passed, then it's going to be tight financially, because it's at the top end of what we can afford. Yeah. We're working on it. We're working forward. Starting today, I'm going to start delisting these entries. After a few days, there's no reason to have 185 of them up. So if there's anything you've been wanting to watch for a while, you might want to go back and watch it. I'll post that on Facebook as well as a heads up. Just because I don't see the reason having them all public. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.